So Kotlin offers data classes which streamlines the process of working with structured data. And these are standard classes that automatically generates useful functions like to string, equals, and copy. Okay. So to define a data class, add the data keyword in the particular class that you want to convert into a data class. So over here, I have taken an example of user class that I'm making a data class. Okay. So this makes the data class ideal for cases where you need to store and manipulate data with minimal boilerplate code. And these auto-generated functions are particularly useful for tasks like debugging, logging, or any scenario where readable output is important. Okay. So over here, you can check that when I am trying to call the user variable that consists of the data class user, it simply automatically calls the two string functions by default. Okay. I don't have to write it manually. So on calling this, the entire data class is converted to a string and as an output, the entire data class is printed. Okay. So Kotlin data classes simplify instance comparison as well. Now over here, you can use the equality operators to compare two objects. Now with an example, I've also explained it. There are three different variables that I've taken user, second user and third user. Okay. Now when I'm trying to compare user with second user, the output is coming to be true. And why is it so? Because the Kotlin is checking for the structural equality. Okay. That means it is comparing the content of a particular property rather than comparing a object reference. Okay. So when I'm comparing user with third user over here, the output is false because the content is completely different from each other. Okay. 